different, right? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am parked just at Dunkeld and I'm heading up into the forest to try some of the trails in here. So I'm going to start off on some of the reds, see how I got on with those and if they're alright I'll maybe try some blacks as well. To start with uh, I have quite a lot of climbing to do, uh, all on Land Rover tracks like this one but uh, you can't beat the scenery. These, uh, Majestic pines. Oh, I mean, look at that. Look how high those are. Whew. And blue skies. So it should be a good day. So I'm just on a wee access track here. This should be Blurred Lines, which is a red. So let's see how this goes. The trail is just so grippy, just because it's so dry. That's better, second run is better. going to be taking things easy today. I'm out myself and uh, I've not even got any pads or a full face helmet so just take it easy. Well I thought that was all right for a red. Wasn't steep at all but I think that might change as we get further down the hill. So this here is an old ruin and it's called Stuartfield Ruins. So I think we'll have a wee wander about. There we go. So they would have had their, their fire in there. Great big bit of granite, is that? No, schist I think. Looks, looks like granite. I mean the way these are built is just testament to how well they were built, the fact that they're uh, still standing. Another room in here as well. <laughs> and I wonder if that's maybe that's a walled garden. Maybe not, not sure. Need to have a look into the history of it. There's obviously uh, some sort of other dwellings over there as well. It's just absolutely glorious here. I mean, all these old trees, the bird song. So this is another red and it's called Stuartfield after these old ruins. really difficult to see here just because of the uh, leaf falling in the shadows. But I suppose it is a red so there shouldn't be any crazy jumps. Plenty of rut so <laughs> I am so not going down into that. I might lose my bike. It's probably going to be more difficult to uh, to walk down here. Oh, oh. That was a nice wee trail. Just uh, a bit squelchy at the bottom. Check out those views. So this is doggy. 
So I'm going to take the left hand fork up ahead. Here we go. Wow, love this. Woohoo! Well, I think. Uh, the rusty doggy, the trail dog, he would have been proud of that. This time we are staying right for Mutt House. Staying right this time. That was great. Just at the bottom of that trail there, uh, past another old dwelling. And that actually looks to be really well intact. In fact, let's go up and have a look. Here we go. Oh wow. That would have been their, their oven and their fire. Wow. Got a wee uh, skylight up there, wooden boards on the ceiling. Huh. Well set up. Got some more rooms in here. All the slates look straight. Remnants of the door. Huh. Another room in here. Final room in here. And a wee enclosure outside here. And a wee basin here as well. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what a lovely spot this would have been to live and work? Just surrounded by trees, or even, you know, before these trees had even got to this height, you'd have views out all over the valley. So this is Sophia. Right, for Sophia. Oh. Lovely, through the bluebells. Well, that was amazing. 
Love that. Just such a variety. You could lose yourself for days in here, just riding all the different lines. So I've got quite a long uh, climb back up now. Uh, I'm going to go out and try some another red that more or less goes from the top of the hill, but way, way, way behind me. So I will probably get you up there. Seeing as I've climbed all the way up here, I might as well show you the view. Couple of buzzards there. I don't know if you can see them. Just uh, using the thermals to climb. This is Dalmarnock Descent, uh, and this is the, the very top of it. Hard to see just where the trail is. Oh, tree down there, so must be this way. This is us. Tell me I'm not into a whole world of trouble here. Hmm. This is not good. That's a bugger. Oh well, that'll teach me to read the comments. So looks like I'm uh, pushing up to the Land Rover track and I'll need to uh, rethink another route. Back on the forest road now and gonna do a bit of a detour and uh, see if I can get onto some black routes instead. So this is called Jamos and it is a black apparently. So we'll see how this goes. Nice bit of drainage there. Well, that was very nice. That was good. I think we're looking for the next trail on the left. So this is Jamo's Belly. Oh, it's steep all right. Whew. Oh yeah, she's steep. be happy if I could get my right foot on the pedal properly. <laughs> Whew. 
that should be Jamu's link. is Jamo's bottom and it should join the bottom part of 9.8 that things are going to get pretty steep again easy to be at our speed, not so easy to slow down. <laughs> That was an enjoyable ride. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on natural stuff. It's mostly been trail centres, uh, so I really enjoyed that, and I thought I did pretty well, all things considered. Definitely recommend this as a venue. Uh, I mean, I've only scratched the surface there, uh, but there are plenty of trails, uh, so I would definitely come here and have a go. Thanks for watching.